Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. Uh, you might be noticing that this looks a little strange. But that's okay, because I'm in virtual reality. Haha, <laughs> that's right. This is Virtual Reality Space Engineers, and oh boy, does it look good. So, a couple of quick explanations. First of all, there are two versions of this video. One that's in stereoscopic 3D, if you have any kind of virtual reality device that can watch YouTube videos. Wait, if you have any kind of 3D device that can watch videos, you should be able to watch this in 3D by watching that version of the video. If you are not watching with 3D glasses or whatnot, then I would highly suggest watching the one that only has one eye. And all I've done is cut the video in half. So, yeah. It will look a little odd because the aspect ratio will be completely wrong, but it's kind of what you get with virtual reality. Anyway, how is this possible? I'll tell you how it's possible. A good friend of mine named Equinox... Ooh, I have stepped into the uh, medical bay here. Uh, a good friend of mine named Equinox has found the virtual reality code that Keen has worked on here and there over the years, and he has managed to unlock it. And he did a whole bunch of other little things to clean it up and make it at least partially usable. And before you ask, no, you cannot do this. I will not give you instructions on how... I will not allow you to talk to Equinox and ask him how to do it. Um, okay, I can't really stop you from doing that, but I highly recommend you don't bug Equinox about it because he will tell you the same thing I will. It's a pain in the rear. It is hard to get working. It is extremely buggy, and it is completely unplayable. But you can actually experience it through this video, and someday, Keen is going to make this actually a thing. And when they do, oh boy, is it going to be awesome. I am excited to play with this and try it out. I have tried to record this a few times and it has not worked very well. Um, but I think this might be the one. And I'm bumping into my microphone. Um, so... <laughs> the first thing I'm noticing is that all of the models look incredible from close up. You don't really notice a lot of the little details on these models until you are in virtual reality. And you can see them in actual 3D as if you could just reach out and grab them. I, I, I just I can't describe this well enough. These bars right here that you're seeing in front of me, they feel like they're there. I feel like I could reach out and grab that bar and give this thing a big yank or pull myself up on it or something. It looks way too big to actually drag or move. Um, it would take eight people to lift that thing. It's, it's huge. It's absolutely huge, which, you know, it kind of makes sense. Um, this, however, feels completely naturally the right size, which is not normal. I know that sounds funny, but uh, but I it doesn't look the right size when you're playing the game in normal mode. But when you're in virtual reality, this seems perfectly normal. That keyboard is the same size as my keyboard. And that screen is a fairly large, pleasantly sized screen. It's probably like a 24-inch, something along those lines screen. It's nice. Um, these control panels over here... These are like the size of a medium, like maybe a 10 inch tablet. I always have looked at those and thought they were the size of a cell phone, you know, like a large cell phone maybe, but no, that's more tablet sized. That's the kind of thing you can see in virtual reality that you can't normally tell. I'm going to kind of walk around and look at some other stuff. These stairs are terrifyingly steep. Oh, I feel like I'm going to tumble down them. They are more like ladders than they are like stairs. I mean, I'm looking almost as high as I can. That's as high as I can stretch my neck. And I can, you know, that's really, really tall. And looking down them is almost impossible. Granted, my neck is a little bit, of, a little bit stiff from activities recently. 
I these pipes. Oh my word! I could wrap my arms around those. They're like. They're about as big around as my head. They they're huge. And they just feel so industrial and wonderful. Like <laughs> it just makes me happy. The size of these spotlights, they are uh, the size of a small car, like a like a Cooper Mini, kind of that size. They're big. They're really really big. It just I love walking around looking at this stuff in virtual reality because it's just so much awesome. I just realized I put these stairs in wrong. Those are upside down. How? Do, why? Why did I do that? Why are these stairs in the wrong way? I mean, they're not stairs, they're vents, but well, I didn't put them in like stairs. I should fix that. Okay, so I've got... Oh, gosh. It's terrifying going down these stairs. I apologize for that sound. That was me looking down and knocking into the uh, microphone with the top of my head. <laughs> my hands are floating out there. Okay, that's hilarious. I wonder, am I in... There we go. Okay, I it, it thought I was falling or something. We're good now. Um, I had to put in a gravity generator because we are floating in space right now. I don't know if you noticed that. Uh, but, uh, oh boy. Wow, that cargo container could hold a lot. No wonder it holds a lot. I mean, that is the largest cargo container in the game. And, yeah, that, that's a that's big. I, I don't want this entire video to be me walking around talking about how big things are, even though that is going to be a lot of what happens. Uh, <laughs> just because that's kind of a thing with virtual reality. I don't know if you've heard about Minecraft and virtual reality. If you've tried it out, the everything's too big. The sheep are the size of horses and the... And the chickens are the size of large dogs and all that kind of thing. And honestly, Space Engineer seems to have done a better job of scaling in that way. I mean, it is all about huge industrial things. But these all feel like they're about the right size for what they should be. I mean, if I were to reach out and touch that button, that would be a comfortable size. I mean, it's about half the size of my hand. Which, you know, is about right. Okay, let's go take a look. This is actually going to be open space down here. Yep. Um, I wanted to go look at the MBT, the uh, ship from my... Ooh, okay, okay. You know, it's great. Um, I have... Uh, ooh. The, one of the issues with this implementation of space and or of VR is that you, you can't really use the mouse to move around or else it changes your viewpoint and then you can't, you're not, because you always uh, I don't know how to explain it but it's a little bit difficult to, oh I got, I got distracted by how cool this airlock is <laughs> I have to use the arrow keys to rotate or else um, it'll all get misaligned and then I won't be walking forward See, that looks so much more natural now. That's like, okay, I'm in the airlock. I need to do some work. It's right there. That just makes sense. And that chair is almost exactly the size of my chair. Like, that That actually has a similar shape to the chair that I'm sitting in right now. That's, that's really cool. Also, I am sitting in a chair. And it doesn't feel unnatural. That's pretty cool. Okay, now I kind of want to get into that chair. Well, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's 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 fly a little bit. Can I move? I cannot read those. Okay, I am moving. That's good. Oh, that's very cool. Okay, I need to fly a smaller ship. I definitely need to fly a smaller ship. I I want to I want to be able to fly around. Okay. Oh, see that? Yeah, I have to get pretty close to these screens to read them, but that has more to do with the decreased resolution in um, in virtual reality. It's it's just kind of a side effect of virtual reality, unfortunately. That vent, that vent should be able to. Well, okay, actually, that vent should be able to suck the air out of a hangar in about the amount of time it can. 
Fair enough. I'm not going to complain. I'm, I'm becoming more and more impressed with space engineers as I do this because everything just... Oh, yeah, here's a, here's a programmable block. And yet again, now that's much bigger than a 24-inch screen. That's more like a 32-inch screen, but the keyboard's still about the right size. That's, that's good. If I, if I had a programmable block, I would want that. Okay, and that that is upside down. It's funny how many of the little details you notice <laughs> in virtual reality that you wouldn't necessarily in other situations. Oh, that's right. I forgot I had... Uh, this is a copy of the space of the... This is a copy of the MBT from the very beginning of Season 2 of my Let's Play. So it's a little bit different. If I'm not mistaken, the, um, the Phoenix is up here. And yes, it is. So we can fly the Phoenix around. That'd be awesome. Actually, let's see. I also, there is no HUD. <laughs> so I can't see. I can see the yellow outlines if I get there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Is that going to... Ah, there we go. Okay, so now I need to very carefully align again. Ooh, I'm gonna fly the in virtual reality. I think that's a song. If it isn't, it should be. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> so cool! Oh wow! Okay, this is exciting. All right, I just need to <laughs> find the P on my keyboard here. Oh, actually, oh, I can't control anything. Hang on, I have to actually take off my headset in order to. To launch this thing. Um, eight. No. I need thrusters. I also cannot actually see. Oh, there we go. Okay, back into VR. Okay, here we go. So... How do I... Actually, I should be able to use the mouse now. Oh, yes, I can. <gasps> awesome. Oh, yes. Oh, this is so cool. I know the Phoenix has a lot of forward thrust and not a whole lot of side thrust. Oh, wow. Wow. So Equinox was the one that told me that I should try something in first person, or try flying something like this, and boy, was he right. Oh, that is so cool. The Phoenix is probably not the best ship to do this in, simply because it's got some really limited sideways maneuver maneuverability. It's meant for it's meant for planet landings and that kind of thing. Oh, this is very cool. I just really want to reach out and touch those controls. I think I would have to lean forward for a couple of those, but for the most part, those are all just right. <laughs> I don't know what I would use the pedals for. Who knows? But awesome. I cannot stop with this thing. I wonder if I don't have some of my thrusters on. And there's not really any way for me to tell. I'll bet you I only have my hydrogens on. That would explain a lot. That would explain all the sliding. It doesn't matter. This was just a little test of virtual reality to see what it's like. Obviously, there's some lighting issues in this version. You also might notice this is a slightly older version of the game. That's because uh, Keen only releases open source versions uh, every once in a while. And Equinox had to work with one of those... But I think he did a fabulous job, and this is incredible. If there's anything specific you want me to take a closer look at sometime, go ahead and put it in the comments. Um, I would be happy to do that. I just wanted a kind of a quick little teaser uh, just to see what we might one day get in virtual reality from Space Engineers. And oh, this, if I could just be in 
virtual reality for flying ships, I would be absolutely fine with that. Like, not for walking around the base, but just for flying ships, not a problem. Uh, the, just, I don't know if you've ever tried to dock in two dimensions, trying to figure out how close you are to something, but I can tell exactly how close I am to everything. There's just not even a question. You know, <laughs> my controllability isn't great on this ship, but, like, I know when I'm going to hit something. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Hey, if you like seeing stuff like this, make sure and hit that thumbs up button. Hit the uh, subscribe button too if you haven't already, and hit that little alarm bell. That'll that'll tell you when I have new content out. And if you want to see specifically something in VR, um, just to see what something looks like really close up, you make sure and let me know. And as always, I'll see you next time on Epic Tech. Ooh, I wonder how fast I can talk. Oh, oh, oh. Cannot. Okay. I've got to find the other thrusters.